Hello, Mark Goswell. Hello, how are you? I'm pretty well. How are you? You're looking more upbeat than you were a minute ago. I am very good at putting on a performance. Of course you are. (laughs) Yeah, look, if you look through the cam, when the song's on, usually we've just got our heads on the desk, you know, we're having a bit of a snooze. (laughs) But look, we are here to talk about, I guess, exercise rehab. And when you hit about 40 which I am this year, Yep. I have noticed, Mark, um, my knees are sore. Everything goes downhill Every- at 40. It's all going south. Basically, all of the choices that you've made in life when you were younger and virile, fit and pumped. Virile. Virile, yeah, I remember those days. Um, when you were young and fit, you know, in your teens and 20s and unbreakable and going nuts, um, you know, we all develop these little niggles and little injuries from um, running around like lunatics, but then by 40, it all catches up. And, you know, we see so many clients coming in their 40s just going, things are starting to hurt. Yeah, so 40s, 50s, 60s, and it just sort of comes out of the blue where you yeah. start to think, oh, this is hurting. So how do you... F- what, how do you approach that then, Mark? Because as you said, usually it's a result of something else. So when someone comes in with a with an issue, where do you start? Yeah, look, especially when they're coming in and it's like um, they've got a back injury, hip injury, knee, and it's like they can't actually attribute it to a particular incident. So they didn't have a fall. They didn't. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it wasn't a particular thing where they've gone. Oh yeah, that's you know that's how I hurt myself. And so what happens is they'll come in and it's like you know my back's getting progressively worse, my hips getting progressively worse, and part of what we do as an exercise physiologist when we assess our clients is that we actually take a history of their of their life in terms of what they've done physically, injury wise, rehab wise, yeah, treatment right. wise that they've had in the past. And more times than not, there's a massive correlation between, say, an injury where they twisted their knee or like for yourself an ankle sprain when you're in your you know, teens and twenties that just wasn't rehab properly. And you know, if you think about you know, us in our forties, um, you know, when we were doing our injuries a lot earlier on, they didn't have the active treatments. Like exercise physiology didn't exist 20 years ago. Yeah, correct. So if if you have hit that point, you know, people that are going, yeah, I'm, I'm sore now, but it's probably a result of something I did 20, 30 years ago. Yep. Can we still work on that? You know, is, is there oh, still 100%. hope? Oh, 100%. Why do you think I've got a job? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've made a career out of doing this. It's like, yeah, one of the things that we're talking about, you know, you hit your 40s, you start to develop these injuries and ailments. Generally, they are a symptom of something that's going on either up the chain or down the chain. So we talk about kinetic chain, we talk about slings, we talk about the way that the body's connected in so many ways. It's not, you know, if you're experiencing a back issue, which 85% of us will at some stage, you can drive that down to your knee not tracking properly, um, poor ankle mobility or ankle control, uh, hip stability issues or thoracic mobility issues, so up around the mid spine. Yeah, you know, anytime we're doing these assessments and we're having a look, we can start to find these uh, faults within their movement patterns and can derive it back to where sort of the pain is. Excellent. And so then you just start the corrective exercises and yeah, you, know, you can make some really impressive changes in sort of one to two sessions if it's a simple, you know, if it's a simple mechanics issue um, that really just sort of gets you some symptom relief and then gets you back on track. But we've all just got to learn to move properly. Okay. Look, that's good. So the, the message is it's never too late. So oh, God, for someone it's in never their too late. 80s, 90s, beyond, I've got a gorgeous woman that comes in at the moment who's 82 who always questions whether what she's doing is enough. And, you know, as I say to her, as long as she can keep developing her strength in the legs and she doesn't get you know, stuck in a chair everyone can make improvements age is not an excuse anymore it's that's just a number great. that's really good so when you turn 40 it's just a number don't worry about it yeah yeah, so they tell me. <laughs> Don't buy it. No, very happy. All right, well, thank you, Mark, and you'll be back next week. Yes, and you'll be back here with me. 2NURFM, a broadcast service of the University of Newcastle.